Welcome to another Cam High Connect. What's up, Scorps? Here's the information on the 2021 OUHSD Poetry Slam Finals. Congratulations to the two Scorps who made it to the finals, Alexis Lopez and Derek Barnett. Join today to watch the finals live at 152 on YouTube. The address is bit.ly slash O-U-H-S-D Poetry Slam. Be there to support your fellow Scorpions. Congratulations to Jacob Foote, Katie Fiaco, and Nicholas Abasadorian for being awarded Watch's Harbor and Fry Tools for School Scholarship. These students earned this scholarship by having a high GPA and exemplary academic record stepping into leadership roles in the community, and being involved in architecture or product innovation and design as a high schooler. Congrats on you guys for getting this $1,000 scholarship. If you like Star Wars or robotics or Kim High, support our robotics team by purchasing a t-shirt. The $15 will go to a good cause and support robotics competition. We'll also sweeten the deal and throw in a disposable mask with each purchase. Hurry supplies are limited. We have the following sizes, small, medium, large, and extra large. Pay Mrs. Boyle, the bookkeeper, and bring a receipt by D4 for the, the shirt and mask. Hey seniors, are you interested in giving a speech at graduation? Well, if so, the class of 2021 is going to be having a graduation speech contest. The theme is going to be what now, and it's going to be a two-minute minimum, three-minute maximum speech. Please remember that you will be representing the entire class of 2021 not just your friend group, so please be inclusive. Submissions no later than May 28th by 3 p.m. Rehearsals are going to be June 11th, 14th, and 15th only if needed. For more details on the graduation speech contest, go onto the Google Classroom and click the flyer or email Ms. P. This week for Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Month, we chose to spotlight actress, rapper, and comedian Aquafina. She was born on June 2, 1988 in Stony Brook, New York. She's most known for her roles in films like Ocean's 8 and Crazy Rich Asians. In 2020, she became the first actress of Asian descent to win a Golden Globe in the comedy slash musical category. With great accomplishments, she's just getting started. Um, so hi, I'm Mrs. Steinman. Um, this is my second year as a teacher at Camarillo High School, but I was lucky enough to substitute here before and get to know a lot of the students. And it's just been so fun hanging out with them the past two years. Hmm. Well, um, I was lucky enough when I was 19 to get a job as a campus supervisor at Monta Vista, where I got to meet you. And um, it's going to sound corny, but from there, I really saw the power of like positivity in the school environment and especially in the classroom. And I just wanted to build classrooms where every student felt um, safe and loved and um, I felt that they had dignity regardless of their academic performance. Um, definitely not getting able to meet my new students in person, um, but we found other ways to build relationships like um, show and tell with our pets um, and that's been really fun. So there's definitely upsides, but I'm looking forward to seeing everybody again. 
probably laughing with you guys. <laughs> like all the funny things that, you know, happen in a classroom, all those little things, and just laughing together and having a good time. Well, thanks. Thank you so much. Uh -huh. I'll see you soon. Bye. Darling, take mm -hmm. care. You too. little sunny out here guys perfect day for the beach so let's go to linking with the weather to see how everything's gonna be going down yo what's going on scorps this is Lincoln Hall with the weather today and for the next two days today you should be expecting a high of 71 degrees a low 55 degrees and partly cloudy tomorrow you should be expecting a high of 70 degrees a low 56 degrees and partly cloudy and on Sunday you should be expecting a high of 73 degrees a low 57 degrees and partly cloudy again now that's all I got for you, Scorps. Now heading on to healthy living. Hi, Scorps. It's Hannah, and May is National Skin Cancer Awareness Month. With over 5 million cases diagnosed each year in the United States, skin cancer is America's most common kind of cancer. Exposure to ultraviolet rays causes most cases of melanoma, the deadliest and most common type of skin cancer. Fortunately, though, skin cancer is one of the most preventable types of cancer. So here are three ways to protect your skin. One is to wear protective clothing, two is to apply sunscreen, and three is to seek shade. Thank you for listening, Scorps. I hope you have a wonderful and safe weekend. Bye. Hey Scorps, I'm Christina and you're watching Scorps. Now here are some playoffs updates. On Wednesday, boys volleyball played against St. Francis in the quarterfinals and unfortunately lost from the score of 0-3. to The ACHS boys varsity wrestling team defeated Pacifica High School in the first round of CIF duels on Tuesday night. Varsity was 43-34, Cameron Alfaro, 106 fall, Braden Kuski, 113 fall, and Emilio Gonzalez, 132 fall. Congratulations, boys. Our wrestling program is proud to announce that the following wrestlers have made first and second team all league. For the first team all league, we have William Enos, Sage Elliott, Braden Kuski. And then for the second team all league, Sean Palmer, Shrek, Daniel Gorovich, Emilio Gonzalez. Boys varsity basketball lost to West Ranch, losing 50, or 86 to 57. Great season, Scorps. Uh, girls varsity basketball beat Ventura, winning 60 to 30 with Gabriella Hawkins having 29 points. Good job, Scorps. What's up, Scorps? In swim, Camarillo won all four divisions against the Coastal Canyon League opponents, Royal, Moore Park, and Thousand Oaks. Congratulations to the boys and girls for swimming and achieving the sweep in league championships. The CIF qualifiers include the 200 boys medley race, Lincoln Hall, Luke Patterson, Jake Yunker, and Paul Patterson. In the 100 fly, Luke Patterson. In the 50 free, Luke Patterson. In the 100 breast, Lincoln Hall. In the 500 free, Carolina Desicoli. In the 50 free, and Anna B. Ham. Congratulations, Scorps. Varsity Girls Softball played Royal High School Wednesday and won 7-2. JV Girls Softball also played Royal High School and took the dub with the score being 16-6. Both Varsity Girls and JV Girls Softball face off against Oak Park Thursday in the last regular game of the season. Good luck. 
With only one loss in the record, Varsity Girls will go into playoffs sometime around next week. CIF has yet to release the schedule, but when they do, make sure we come out and support our softball team. Hey, Scorps, welcome to this week's baseball update. Varsity swept Oak Park, becoming the Coastal Canyon League winners. They won Tuesday 13-2 and Thursday 14-0. Their upcoming game, playoffs. Here we come. Uh, Varsity's overall record was 16-7. and Overall, 9-3 and in league. Now on to Athletes of the Week. This week for Athletes of the Week, we have Mackenzie Schlemgen and Leslie Berrigan for girls wrestling and Sage Elliott and Braden Kuski for boys wrestling. Congrats, guys, and keep it up. What's up, Scorps? In swim, Camarillo won all four divisions against the Coastal Canyon League opponents, Royal, Moor Park, and Thousand Oaks. Congratulations to the boys and girls for swimming and achieving the sweep in league championships. The CIF qualifiers include the 200 boys medley race, Lincoln Hall, Luke Patterson, Jake Yunker, and Paul Patterson. In the 100 fly, Luke Patterson. In the 50 free, Luke Patterson. In the 100 breast, Lincoln Hall. In the 500 free, Carolina Desicoli. In the 50 free, and Anna B. Ham. Congratulations, Scorps. That's it for this week. Thanks for watching, Scorps. What's up, Scorps? Just a reminder that Memorial Day is on Monday, May 31st, where we celebrate and honor men and women who died while serving the U.S. military. In other words, the purpose for Memorial Day is to memorialize the veterans who made the ultimate sacrifice for their country. Memorial Day became an official federal holiday in 1971, and it was issued by General John A. Logan and originally known as Decoration Day in 1868. 